Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Oceanus. Aircraft carriers are one of the most important machines for the Navy, and can change the consequence of war straight away. Due to its size and technological advancements, it takes years to build an aircraft carrier. The USS Gerald R. Ford Nimitz class is the biggest aircraft carrier in the world. It is the lead vessel of the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers within the United States Navy. With 100,000 tons of displacement and the size of three football fields, this 25-story high carrier is the most expensive one ever built at a cost of $13 billion. Let's take a look at what goes on in a day working here. The modern supercarrier is widely referred to as a city at sea, with 4,600 people working, relaxing, eating, and sleeping on board for months at a time. This is certainly accurate, but it's not at all like any city you would find on dry land. Life on an aircraft carrier is marked by a highly structured and distinctive routine due to the confined and self-contained nature of the ship. A typical day aboard an aircraft carrier starts in the early morning around 5.30 a.m. Sailors and personnel are awakened by a wake-up call, signaled by a bugle call known as Reveille. The ship features a large gym, two grocery stores, and an excellent ventilation system, as well as specially equipped resting and sleeping areas. Morning hygiene involves quick showers and shared bathrooms due to limited space here. Breakfast is served in cafeterias or mess decks, providing sustenance for the start of the day. The cooking staff can serve 15,000 freshly prepared meals every single day. When operating in the sea, the aircraft carrier spends $65,000 on average per day. Work assignments are specific to each sailor's role, which is being a part of the flight deck crew, an engineer, medical staff, or administrative personnel. As the ship operates around the clock, personnel workers in rotating shifts to ensure continuous operations. Regular safety drills for emergencies like fires and flooding are conducted, in addition to ongoing training sessions aimed at enhancing skills and readiness. The ship's maintenance is a constant endeavor, with engineers, technicians, and crew members collaborating to keep the ship's systems operational. On the flight deck, crews work diligently to prepare aircraft for takeoff and landing. Meal times are essential not only for nutrition, but also for boosting morale. Cafeterias or mess decks provide three meals a day. However, the various watch schedules might affect when certain crew members can access their meals. Physical fitness is encouraged through onboard gyms and fitness facilities, promoting the well-being of those crew members. Recreation and entertainment options are available in limited spaces, such as libraries, movie theaters, lounges, and game rooms. Command organized events are held to boost morale during deployments. Communication with the outside world is limited due to restricted connectivity. Sailors use the ship's communication systems for phone calls and emails to stay in touch with their families. Sleep accommodations consist of cramped bunk beds and sleep areas. The demands of rotating shifts can impact crew members' sleep patterns. During deployments that can last several months, the aircraft carrier operates in different regions. Flight operations are a continuous activity, with aircraft taking off and landing based on mission requirements. 
Personal time is crucial for mental well-being. Crew members use this time for personal activities, reading or simply relaxing. Close quarters foster camaraderie among the crew, while social activities like talent shows, themed parties, and sports tournaments contribute to the sense of community. Regular shipments of mail and essential supplies are received to maintain morale and keep the crew connected to the outside world. At the end of the day, a bugle call known as TAPS signifies bedtime. The rest becomes essential due to the demanding nature of life on the carrier. Challenges include the isolation that comes from being at sea for extended periods and adapting to confined spaces. The continuous 24-7 operations can take a toll on crew members, both physically and mentally. Jobs are highly varied, just like in a normal city. Approximately 2,500 men and women form the air wing, the people who actually fly and maintain their aircraft. Another 3,000 or so people make up the ship's company, which keeps all parts of the carrier running smoothly. This includes everything from washing dishes and preparing meals to handling weaponry and maintaining the nuclear reactors. Aircraft operations on an aircraft carrier are a complex and highly organized process that requires careful coordination and skill from both the flight deck crew and the pilots. Before takeoff, aircraft are positioned on the carrier's flight deck, usually in designated spots, often referred to as catapult spots. Pilots go through pre-flight checks and communication checks and get clearance for takeoff from the Carrier's Air Traffic Control, ATC Tower. The catapult generates the necessary force to accelerate the aircraft to the speed required for takeoff in a very short distance. Once the aircraft is attached to the catapult shuttle, the pilot engages the engines to full power. As the aircraft reaches takeoff speed, it becomes airborne and the pilot initiates a climb. Carrier-based aircraft are designed for arrested landings, meaning they have tail hooks that engage arresting cables on the flight deck. The pilot aims to catch one of the arresting cables with the tail hook, which quickly decelerates the aircraft. The aircraft comes to a complete stop in a short distance, allowing it to be moved to a designated parking spot. Throughout these operations, communication and coordination between the pilots, the carriers, flight deck crew, and the carrier's air traffic control are crucial to ensure safe and efficient aircraft operations. The fast-paced nature of carrier operations demands well-trained personnel and adherence to strict procedures to maintain the safety of both the aircraft and the personnel involved. That's it from here. Let us know what interests you the most about aircraft carriers in the comments below. And thanks for watching.